Transmission media. Let us uh, have some idea about transmission media. Transmission media lies between the sender and the receiver. The sender is the one who shares the information, and receiver is the one who receives the information. And both happens with the help of this transmission media. And as a definition, we can say that transmission media is a communication channel that carries information from the sender to the receiver that is the information in the form of electromagnetic signals and the main functionality is to carry this information with the, through help of any media and the main functionality is to carry this information through any network the types of transmission media there are two types of transmission media guided media and unguided media guided media is also known as wired or Bounded transmission media. Here, the two signals are transmitted via a physical link. Because of that, it has high speed, secure, and it covers only shorter distance. Unguided media is also known as wireless media or unbounded media. Here, it is broadcasted via air and it covers larger distances, but the disadvantage is that it is not that much secure. And examples for guided media and unguided media. Uh, guided media include the twisted cables, optical fibers, and that of unguided media include radio waves, microwaves, infrared waves, etc. Twisted pair cable. It has two insulated cables covered in a protective sheet, and it is the commonly used one. It has of two categories: unshielded twisted pair and shielded twisted pair. See, in this diagram, you can see unshielded twisted pair. It is. Uh, it has only a single outer jacket, and this is only for protecting the copper wire from the physical damage. While in the case of shielded twisted pair cable, you can see three uh, layers of shield. That is outer jacket, overall shield, and pair shields to protect the copper wires from the uh, interference and other damages. Unshielded twisted pair or UTE. It has the feature of blocking interference. And it has no protective shield. It is the commonly used one in telephonic applications. Uh, these are the advantages and disadvantages. Focusing on the disadvantage, this uh, UTP is susceptible to external interference. So, because it doesn't have any uh, coating to protect it from the external interference. And because of that uh, reason, it is used for small uh, or short distance uh, transmission. That is, uh, due to this external interference, there are chances of weakening the signals. So that is why it is used for short distance transmissions. And moving on to the STP. STP, it has uh, some special jackets to block external interference. And hence it is, has high data rate also. It is also used in telephonic applications. And the advantages are high performance, uh, eliminates these interferences. Comparatively, it is faster. Okay. And uh, disadvantages are expensive and all. And moving on to the coaxial cable. Coaxial cable means it has an outer covering that contains two parallel conducting wires. Each of these parallel conducting wires are covered with a another shield. So it is used in cable TVs and analog uh, network, analog television networks. It has two type mode of transmission. Baseband and broadband mode. That is, baseband means a dedicated cable bandwidth is there, while that of broadband, the cable band, uh, bandwidth is split to into desirable uh, range. And coaxial cable, these are the advantages and the disadvantages of coaxial cables. See the diagram, you can see the coaxial cable in the diagram. And optical fiber cable. Here, the core is surrounded by a cladding and it can be used for transmission of large volume of data. See, advantages it has increased capacity and bandwidth, lightweight, less uh, signal attenuation. Well, in the case of UTP, it has attenuation. So, uh, the attenuation can be overcome with the help of this optical fiber cable. Then, uh, disadvantages include uh, it is high cost. Uh, difficult to um, install and maintain and the diagram depicts uh, that of optical fiber cable. Moving on to the unguided media. 
unguided media we are here we are discussing about three examples the first one is radio wave second one is microwave and the last one is infrared wave radio waves it can is easy to generate and it can penetrate to buildings it is used in the fm and af radios and it has a frequency range of 3 kilohertz to 1 gigahertz while in the case of microwave it is uh, it is known as uh, so can send up while in the case of microwaves the line of sight transmission is its feature that is uh, the distance covered by the signal is proportional to the height of the antenna and the frequency coverage is 1 gigahertz to 300 gigahertz here it is used for mobile uh, phone communication and television distribution infrared infrared is usually used for small uh, short distance transmission but it can't penetrate through optic uh, obstacles uh, it is commonly used in uh, wireless mouses the our t uh, tv remotes etc as a summary we can say that transmission media is one which helps in the transmission of data from the sender to the receiver and it is of two types guided and unguided media guided media i have given some examples like twisted pair cable coaxial cable optical fibers etc and that of unguided media we have learned uh, three examples microwave uh, infrared wave and radio waves that's all for the day thank you all thank you for watching bye all